Hey guys, uh, Chris here, back with another watch video. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little uh, unboxing. Uh, already cut open the uh, the uh, FedEx package here, just to get the uh, get to the uh, box quicker. Uh, and also cut this off open up here, just to uh, make this a little bit quicker. And there you go. Uh, you can already see if you are familiar with this watch brand, you will already know what I am unboxing here. <clears throat> and voila, it is a Zelos. So, uh, why did I buy a Zelos? Um, I watch a lot of these watch YouTube channels, and uh, one of one of the channels that I watch is called One Just One More Watch. Um, it is uh, this guy Jody, I believe his name is Jody from Australia. Uh, he did a really great. He does a lot of very affordable watches, um, and he did a great video on a comparison of the Zelo Swordfish to a Seiko, I believe it was a Samurai, and um, yeah, I just started, I started looking at the brand, uh, I had heard about the brand, I've seen other reviews, and just his comparison, and, and it just clicked, and I I do love Seiko, I, I did another video on um, the uh, Seiko Diver that I just recently bought, and uh, yeah, so I figured... I would take a stab at it, and I purchased, I did not buy the swordfish, I bought something different, so I will open this, and I have not even seen this yet, and I have not opened it, and I've seen in other watch videos that this is extremely hard to open, so, very tightly on there. Wow, do this. It's almost impossible to get this open. <laughs> it's crazy. I have not encountered this with any watch before in my life. It's almost like it's <laughs> it's almost like it's glued, but it's moving a little bit. But not not enough to get the watch out. Zelos, you need to definitely fix this because this is kind of crazy. I actually the I'll give a little bit of a story. So I started looking at the swordfish and quickly realized that most of the swordfish that swordfish uh, lines were sold out uh, for the Seiko NH35 uh, movement. So. I also, I contacted uh, Zelos and of course Elshan, who is the, Elshan is the, I believe the owner, came, oh, look at this, still working here, and uh, he came back to me and basically said, you know, no, nope, we don't have any, uh, I wanted the sand, black sand dial with the, um, with the gold hands and he basically just came back and said nope that is completely sold out I do not have any um, you know so then I started looking on his website and I started look, looking at other reviews of this is insanity look at this I am I am trying as hard as I can to get this off and it is I mean unless you want to unless you want to rip this open which I don't I mean, it's kind of, I feel like, wish, <laughs> here's a wristwatch. <laughs> I am wearing a Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 600. And I will have to put this down, because I really want to try and get this box out. And I'm taking off my watch so that I don't damage the outer box by scratching it or something like that. But I literally cannot, oh, that's a little rip. I literally cannot get this out. I really don't think I can. I'm trying to shimmy it. 
There's no tolerance here. I mean, it's comical. I don't know what to do. Oh my God, I did it. Whew, Zelos, please. That was crazy. Anyway, yeah, that's my Omega. 45 millimeters. Oh, I think it's 45.5. All right, so let's see. First impressions of the box. Um, the outer box I don't like. Because <laughs> that was just way too hard. It's a very nice outer box. Just too, I'll, I'll never put it back on there because I'll never have to get it off again. That's insane. Um, very nice box. Very, very beautiful box. Like a cigar box. Very nice. All right, so the famed watch roll. So I'm going to give a review on this watch. Um, after I've worn it for a couple of weeks and, you know, decide. So this is the first time, so I'm just going to. So. I have gotten number two of 19. Oh, that's the date. Uh, serial number 31. So, Zelos. And it is a metal. Mm, bronze, perforated uh, warranty card. This came with no other straps, which is kind of weird. Uh, and then here's the watch. Whoa. It is a big boy. Yes, so this is the Great White um, on stainless steel strap. And I'm going to throw it right on my wrist. It is, I have a very large wrist. You probably could tell. And it is big on me. I have almost an 8 inch wrist. This is the teal with a, a gray dial and stainless steel bracelet um kind of the reason why i wore the planet ocean is because really there are some parallels here size wise especially they're very very close uh, planet ocean is obviously a little bit bigger um but both the 600 meters thousand meters um Ceramic bezels. Uh, yeah. This has a Salita S, um, SW200 movement. And obviously, this is the Omega. I think it's 8500 or 8900. I don't remember. I'll tell you right now. 8500. I was right the first time. Um, also made by Etta, but uh, just a really nice movement to look at. This has a solid case back with the Great White on it and the pretty cool clasp. Um, the first impressions, right off the bat, I could take some of this plastic off here. Uh, it feels very well made. Um, it's a really nice clasp. It's a couple of sharp edges. Um, definitely feel some sharp edges on this clasp. Uh, take some of the plastic off here. But the bracelet looks really nice. Not a lot of play. There's some play. Um, but there's still plastic on here. Let's take that off. Plastic on the back. So yeah, I was gonna go for the bronze versions that they have, but I decided to go with stainless steel. And then maybe one day, if I like it, I'll go for a different version. Now, I mean, if you're comparing this to the Planet Ocean that I 
I have right here. I don't think there's a comparison, but I will, I think I'm going to do a comparison video. Once I have, I'll do a review and then I'll do a comparison video with my Seiko uh, divers and go from there. But yeah, so pretty good looking watch. Uh, again, I have an eight inch wrist. This is 44 millimeters. Um, I believe the lug width is 20 millimeters, somewhere around there. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, I will do a another full review uh, another time. Please like and subscribe. Please add comments. Please let me know what you uh, would you would like to see. I'll do some comparisons um, side by sides. I have a whole diver video that I want to do with a bunch of different divers. I have Panerai divers. I have Omega diver watches. I have a few different uh, brands of diver that now including Zelos and and Seiko. So maybe we'll do something like that. Uh, anyway, thank you and I uh, hope you enjoyed.